Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you a few ways you can get paid to test games, whether they're video games, mobile games, or all sorts of others, but there's a few different categories of, you know, ways to get paid to do this. So there's like four different categories here that I've split this up between. The first one is jobs, of course. So as far as finding jobs where you can test video games, these are going to be few and far between a lot of times. Even if you do find them, it's going to be you know, very popular, I'm sure, as soon as other people find out about it. But a few places you can check regularly for these types of things. One is ModSquad.com, which is a company that that basically uh, specializes in moderation. So they moderate things like online communities, social media, forums. You know, you think of like if you if you're a Reddit user, you can think of like the moderator of a subreddit. That's the kind of jobs that they usually have. So they have all sorts of stuff like that, as well as customer support. You can also find some game testing jobs, but you're more likely to find some of the other ones related to gaming here as well. But to check, um, I'll show you a few different career pages. So they have the main career page at their website here. They'll have some different things here, uh, but they don't usually have everything available on this jobs page. So what you also have is the jobs.lever.co slash mod squad page. So lever.co is a company that does job pages for a lot of different companies. Mod squad has one here and they usually have a lot more jobs here on this page than they do on the one on their website for whatever reason. So you can check here and you'll notice some things related to gaming. It's usually going to be under one of the bottom sections like uh, new mods or something like that. Um, and what you can do is just kind of scroll through here every once in a while or I'll, obviously when I see one I'll let you know in a video in a blog post when they are having a game testing gig available but it'll be in this section. And if you go to some of my past videos you'll notice that I've covered it when it's happened twice. So they had one in the US which is this video right here on YouTube and it paid about $12 per hour for you to test video games and they had one in Europe which was about the same type thing. So that's proof that they do have these jobs and that's where you can find them. Another place you can check, obviously you can check just about any of the major gaming studios like Blizzard for instance or you have plenty of other ones. You have Rockstar Games. You have a lot of different ones out there where you can at least just check every once in a while to see if they have any kind of game testing gigs available. Obviously, they're going to have a lot of game design and stuff, um, but you're going to need an actual degree and stuff for a lot of these types of jobs. But as far as testing, it's usually either something at like Mod Squad or you might have to check the actual Game Studios website. So the second category of ways you can get paid to test games is by downloading mobile games or uh, you know games on your computer, trying them out and getting paid for trying them. So it's not necessarily that you're testing them, it's that you are trying them out. So like FeaturePoints.com for instance, they have a website and app where you can get paid to download apps. So you can do this mostly on the mobile platform, but you'll see games on here like Clash of Clans, for instance, which is a pretty popular mobile game. They'll have a lot of different ones on there as well that are all sorts of different types of games. But you get paid uh, points for feature points to try them out, and then you can cash out all the different ways you see here. So you see Amazon and other gift cards, you see PayPal, you see Bitcoin. And uh, you can also refer friends and make money a lot of other ways as well. But if you like to test out mobile games, this is one of the better options out there. And they also pay you very quickly. You also have a site called Grindabuck, which is pretty similar, except they don't really have a mobile app. But one thing that you can get paid to do is download and try out uh, apps of all sorts. And some of them will probably be games. So those two are just going to pay you to try things out as far as games go, as well as other apps and maybe a few other websites. Now, as far as the third category of ways you can do this, it's testing sites or in testing apps. So these may not specialize in games, but a lot of them will be games. Maybe a certain percentage of them will be, you know, maybe not a large percentage of them because you'll have business websites, you'll have blogs, you'll have all sorts of stuff on these, but you're getting paid to test basically websites and apps all the time. So some of them will have games uh, more often than not. It just depends on the site. You'll probably want to just sign up to more than one of these sites to 
be more likely to find games. But if you're willing to test games, you're probably willing to test websites and apps too. It's fairly easy work. So userlytics.com is one where you can do this. You can go to userlytics.com, go to tester sign up. It's in the top right corner above uh, pricing and all of that. And then you can get paid as much as $90 for each project that you help do the testing on. You can do it on your mobile device or on the website. The app looks like this. It's Userlytics and it's just got almost four out of five stars as far as the rating. So you can get paid to test all sorts of things on here and you can usually cash out via PayPal. So same type of thing with usertesting.com except they don't really have an app as far as I know unless they just added one. But um, you get paid to test and you give your opinion about websites and apps and maybe some games here and there and all sorts of just you know stuff like that so as far as how much you get paid you average around thirty dollars per hour because you get ten dollars for every twenty minute test that you take and if you do an interview then you make more than that you might make closer to sixty but um, as far as that goes it's just a way for you to test a lot of things games being just one part of it so last but not least you have the category of doing like freelancing so like if you have some sort of credibility as someone who is um, a critic of games or you have a blog or a youtube channel or you have a degree in game design or something like that that gives you some sort of credibility then you can go to freelance websites like fiverr.com and you can get paid to test people's games. So like let's say you have some amateur game developers um, who want to get different opinions on these types of things. So people would go to Fiverr, they would type in something like game review or game testing or something like that and these people will help them find bugs, help them uh, you know, maybe hone their game a little bit, improve it a little bit, you know look for problems that might arise with it based on the code or based on the playability of it whatever so you have video game test or something along those lines and you can go to any other freelance site but fiverr i thought was a little bit more qualified for this type of thing and then people approach you as the freelancer so you'll get these games tested you can see you don't have a whole lot of competition yet as far as this goes but um, again you want to have some sort of credibility. Now you can also do this without a freelance profile. Again, if you have a blog, if you have a YouTube channel, a podcast or something that has something to do with reviewing games, then you can have people reach out to you via email and then test them for free and uh, before the game even comes out and give your opinion on it. And they will definitely be willing to pay you for it um, because it could help them in the long run. So. Those are just a few different ways you can get paid to test games. I know a lot of you are looking for something like that. This is kind of an updated version. Some of the past websites I've covered a few years ago are no longer around. So this is kind of an updated way to do this. So hopefully this was helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.